Hey guys on YouTube, it's Maddie 17 back again. So today I've got for you a Fisher & Paykel Wash Smart 7 kilogram. Um, this is the newest version of the agitator top loaders from Fisher & Paykel. You can see it's got the updated drum design which doesn't have the ridges that were very typical of Fisher & Paykel for a time. Of course somebody starts drilling just as I start filming. This has got a smooth, you know, the smooth bowl. Um, pretty much the same as the Clean Smart that I filmed uh, previously, which was the wash plate model. So this has got a standard full size agitator. The agitator hasn't really changed in Fisher and Paykel's. They they look the same. They've got the same fabric softener dish on the top, which has got like the old school fabric softener um, front on it. Um, it was that's never changed even as far back as the excellence and the pride models but yes so looking at this we've got regular heavy delicate wool allergy and quick cycles again these machines are very intuitive so they actually um you know they work out the best wash action based on the cycle for the load based on the water level everything is fully intuitive um, you do have an automatic water level um, option which further increases the intuitiveness but some people prefer to change their level manually um, hot warm and cold options everywhere in between as well so you know you can have warm hot hot warm 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 cold cold spin speeds up to a thousand rpm uh, you can have a soak and an eco rinse. The eco rinse um, just changes into um, spray rinses as opposed to doing a deep rinse. And you can also advance through the different stages of the wash. It's got a lid lock and a start pause button. So it's pretty standard. Um, I got this for very cheap because a gentleman just wanted rid of it as he was moving house and that's my drain pipe falling out. So I'll fix that when we start filming. But yeah. So today we're going to do some white towels that are, some are dirty, some are not. So we're going to use Optimo washing powder, which is a new detergent that's just appeared um, for consumer. This used to be like a commercial machine, uh, commercial detergent that you could only really buy in big box cash and carry type stores or through cleaning companies. But it's recently been brought out on a smaller scale so that you can use it domestically. Um, we are going to use the allergy cycle today. I'll get loaded up and I'll come back. Alright, we're loaded up. Get the agitator cap off, fabric softener dispenser off. Now this new powder comes with a one of these new angled cardboard scoops that you sort of pop together yourself and you use that to measure. So it's a full scoop for a heavy load. I'm going to do slightly more because some of these are quite grubby. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that much because, yeah, right. straight down the chute. Cap goes back on. We're going to use the allergy cycle today, which is a one hour cycle. We're going to manually select a high water level. Hot wash, thousand spin. We're not going to use any soap or eco rinse. Um, so the allergy cycle does um, extra spray rinsing, uh, as well as a double deep rinse, I believe. I forget, but it's an hour. <laughs> um, so I believe it just does more spray rinsing to, you know, to further re um, remove any detergent. So anyway, I will press start, and here we go. It's got some schmutz in it. All right, I will come back when it's filled up because this takes ages. Still filling, but you can hear it doing this little pulsing, jerking action now. That's it sensing the wash action. Well, I've already told it that it needs a higher level, so it's not sensing the wash level, it's sensing the action. It's trying to get a, 
an idea of the resistance now that the clothes are fully soaked. So, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, it just seems to have changed up the action a little bit ever since I just said that. So, there you go. Got a slightly more brisk action now. very silent this machine. I've always described it as a bit like a windscreen wiper going back and forth because you can't actually hear the motor. All you can hear is the water. Two minutes. Draining after the wash. 43 minutes or 42 minutes to go. So, yeah, I think we get a double deep rinse with extra spray rinses. So, that's pretty good. Locked.
does this gradual increase so that it doesn't overpower the pump. It's also trying to work out its balancing as well. Rinse number one. Sort of sits and lets it all soak through the clothes before it turns the pump on. See the water jets are designed so that it really does sort of touch and hit every part of the load. There's one sort of couple of jets that's going out to the side so it's getting the outer bits and then staggered jets that hit the rest of them. So it's a really well designed uh, fill, fill, um, uh, fill jet. <laughs> I'm so tired today. now. I'll count how many it does and I'll let you know when I come back. Because I'm going to run out of space on me phone. It's just finished its third spray rinse and now it's gone onto a faster, longer interim portion.
that will have dispensed the softener now and then that will be dropping down into the um, deep rinse. Hey good, I'll come back when it's filled. 23 minutes to go and we are into our next drain phase. It's still flashing rinse. Sorry about the sunlight. But yes, Australia tends to have that. Um, yes, so it's gone into that drain period, so it's still flashing rinse, so whether or not it does another deep rinse or another set of spray rinses, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it might just be spray rinses, but we'll see. Catch you when it's done. Okay, so it's doing, yep, double deep rinse. So one set of spray rinses with two deep rinses for an allergy cycle, which is pretty thorough rinsing, got to say. Not too great on the old water bill, but hey, <laughs> it's worth it if you've got a, like an allergy to send an allergy to detergents or whether you are just wanting them extra rinsed. It's the sort of cycle I would use because I prefer clothes to be rinsed more rather than less. So yeah. Now I've drained for the final 1,000 RPM spin. Eleven minutes to go.
just missed the start of the wash, but there you go, that's the action that it's chosen. Seems perfectly fine for this type of load. I've had it loaded a bit heavier than that and it's given me a more aggressive action, so you can see how intuitive it is. Um, but yeah, for that load, that's moving them over absolutely fine, so. The, um, the Optimo detergent is very low sudsing, so um, you don't get a lot of suds with this, but the water is very slippy, so it's perfectly the right amount of detergent, I think. Let's see how they come out. I know there's a few stains on some of these towels, so we'll have a look. See, for some reason on the rinse, it's decided that it needs a stronger action. So it's a bit interesting, really. It, it, it makes it completely makes up its own mind about what it's doing. Oops, sorry, we have 25 minutes to go. number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
all finished. Alright, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.